Davoud Rostai was born in 1959 in a small town in the Iranian desert named Sarab. Translated into English, Sarab means mirage. Davoud was born on the borderline between the visible and the invisible world, between this and the other world, between Orient and Occident. As a young man, he became active in the Iranian Revolution, but his joy of freedom was very short. The Khomeini regime arrested him and imprisoned him for two years. In 1984, he was able to flee the country and to get asylum in Germany. He continued his art studies and got to know his first Western role model, Salvador Dali. Davoud's first paintings are surrealistic attempts to alienate reality and to suspend the border between dream and everyday life. Like Dali, Davoud likes to play with different disguises and parts. He dresses as a bullfighter. He becomes a wrestler. He goes on stage as a singer and a bard, or he wears the robes of a Sufi asquade. Davoud Rastai is a fighter and a seeker. He is searching for a new dimension within his painting. He wants to bring forward his insights into the other realities to the canvas. For several weeks, he wrestles with himself. He is under pressure, but suddenly his creative energies get free. During an ecstasy of creative genius, he accomplishes his first crypto-realistic picture called Arena. Here is the bullfighter again, reborn as an artist. His new arena is the battlefield of art. Crypto-realism is not a new style. It is not a new vogue, and it is not a new direction. Crypto-realism is a new method of making the invisible visible, of combining physical and metaphysical dimensions and to overlay different layers of significance, one upon another. Davoud no longer uses brushes or pencils. Like a matador, he relies on the concentrated energy of his arms, hands and fingers. The crypto-realistic method was developed during the revolutionary period of glasnost and perestroika. Davoud foresaw the collapse of world communism and anticipated the fall of the Berlin Wall and the German reunification in a series of crypto-realistic visions. The aperture of the Brandenburger Tor opens the view into a new world of peace and hope. But the painter is not blind to the dangers of human self-destruction. Several warning pictures brandmark the catastrophe of Chernobyl and the perils of the atomic armament race. The picture of a starving child in Africa belongs to his most touching ouvres. At once we understand, this is our own child, and we are ourselves responsible for his hunger. Davoud portrays famous contemporaries like Genscher, the architects of German unity, like the Clintons, like the Princess of Monaco or Lady Di, but his portraits are not always flattering. They are reflected images of the age but also of the transitoriness of all human ambitions and endeavors. But there are also some positive counterparts, like the present Pope or the Pakistani Sufi singer, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. But Davoud turns much more credence to the philosophers, poets, and prophets who taught the fundaments of humanism to the whole of mankind. From the German philosophers Nietzsche, Hegel, and Kant, he went back to the trinity of the Greek masters, Socrates, Plato, and Aristoteles. When he portrayed Plato like a mystical saint on golden ground, he admixed real Greek soil to his color. Davoud Rostai is the only present artist of international reputation who puts religious questions into the center of his creative urge. He jumps across all denominational limits. As the first painter of the art history, he figures the mystical unity and variety of the world religions. He is a Muslim not in the dogmatic, but in the original meaning of the word. Islam means devotion to God. Islam is related to salam, shalom, and means peace. According to Davoud's interpretation, Abraham was the first Muslim, the first prophet, who did not follow the sun, the moon, or the stars, but the trail of the one and only God. 
Davud Rostai paints the saints, the envoys, and the prophets of all religions. Zoroaster, the old Iranian master of the distinction between good and evil. Buddha, the illuminated teacher of nonviolence and harmony between all creatures. The Jewish prophets Abraham, Noah, Moses, and again and again David, his namesake and spiritual guide. Jesus, the preacher of love and mercy. And last but not least, Ali, the son-in-law of the prophet Muhammad and the champion in the struggle for righteousness and honor. Muhammad is absent because it is forbidden for Muslims to picture the seal of the prophets. Instead, Dawood creates the Kaaba in Mecca as the mystical place where heaven and earth touch each other. Dawood's prophetic painting, The Unity of the Religions, outlines the contours of a heavenly garden. The paradise is framed by the Haram of Mecca, the Wall of Lamentation and the Rock Dome in Jerusalem, the Buddhistic temples of Lhasa, the Cathedral of Cologne and St. Peter in Rome. Twelve angels, saints and prophets out of all religions stroll about from one house of God to the other. The name of God appears in Arabic, in Persian, in German and in English. Mysterious ciphers refer to numerical symbolism of the Torah, the Bible and the Quran. The bright, shining and heavenly colors remind one of Marc Chagall's poetical and prophetic visions of paradise. Like Chagall, Davoud Rostai is a dancer and interpreter of dreams, a border crosser between heaven and earth, a crypto-realistic messenger out of the land of promise.